Hello besties, welcome to a beautiful midday. It is currently 5.32 in the afternoon and I actually just woke up from a nap. It is Saturday, so it is kind of like my chill day because I don't necessarily wake up at 5 a.m. on Saturdays and I just kind of go with the flow and find some time throughout the day to do my workout and today it is really late so i'm gonna take my pre-workout here as you guys know here in a couple of weeks i'm gonna be going back to school for my bachelor's and so i'm gonna have to be balancing school work youtube personal life and self-care so your girl's gonna need a planner whoa how did the universe know exactly that I needed a planner? So I came across this one on TikTok. I'm probably going to butcher this really bad. But it is the Hobonochi, Hobonochi Teco Weeks Planner. So I'm going to decorate my planner. I got a little sleeve for it so we can stick some stickers on. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love stationery. Okay. As I drink my pre-workout, we'll decorate it together. And can I just say... I have been loving, loving these three songs right here. Like they're they're on replay at the moment. All right, we have finished my cover, and as you can see, there's a lot of pops of yellow. Recently, I have been loving pastel yellow. Didn't think I would ever say that yellow was one of my favorite colors, but recently, she's been shining, and I love her. We have Pom Pom Perrin down here, Snoopy, have been loving Snoopy a lot recently as well, a little teddy bear. This is a Rila Kuma washi tape. I'm excited to use this. It actually has, like, thin paper. I don't know what the name of this specific paper is, but it actually reminds me of the paper that they use in Mexico as well. I remember going to visit my cousins in Mexico and we'd go to the little tienditas and we'd buy notebooks, pretend that we were playing school, and they'd always have this type of paper in there. And their papers always had graphs. And I thought that they were the coolest things ever. But, oh my God, I just realized something. I ordered this book in Japanese. <laughs> I thought I got the English version. You know what? I was going to order this from the Habanochi website itself, but the shipping was insane. And so I got this off of Amazon. <sighs> but I forgot in the process to check if it was in English. I mean, I can still use it and I would understand everything. Like, it has the dates and stuff. Just the only difference is, like, down here it has little quotes and I wanted to be able to read them, but I don't know what they say. We'll put my first day of school on here. Oh my god, guys. On August 22nd, it's not going to be funny anymore. I've got skill. Everybody better wish me luck on August 22nd. These are some of my favorite pens. They have such a fine little tip and they're gonna be perfect for this journal specifically. They are the Micron pens. This morning, I am going to finish the application for the scholarship. The deadline is coming up really soon on the 31st. So I'm turning that in. Everything's pretty much done. I just have to fix some things on it real quick. So I'm going to do that, have some cereal, and watch New Girl. This is my current favorite cereal. I've been loving it. It's like not overly 
sweet. I have Refallen in Love with New Girl. I used to watch it when I was younger. I think if it came out when I was in high school, I'm not too sure. I remember watching the as the seasons released and I loved it. But then I stopped watching it because they took a break. I think it was around maybe like season four, season five. And then I never kept up with them. They, I think they released like two newer seasons. I've been in the mood to watch something new, but at the same time, emotionally wise, I don't think I was ready to dedicate myself to a whole new show. And so this one is just perfect because it's like familiar territory because I've seen these episodes before and then I have something new at the end. So it's like easing me into the change. A mile away from the loft, CC. I'm not getting caught with you. I'm gonna have to run all the way home. And my slippiest loafers on. If I ever get to make me emotionally nauseous, I'm so sorry. It's a beautiful piece. It looks right there. I seem like I wanted to. <laughs> it's uh, getting a little, a little stuffy. It's actually not too bad. Stuffy. You want to try a little stuffy? No. Oh, maybe I'm just getting socially anxious. <laughs> you make me nervous, Brenda. Ready? Set. Go. I'm a little rusty. Is this one? Actually, kind of fresh right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's a refreshing 92 degrees. You know the rest of the cards is, is 30, so it'd be 15, 15. Is it? Yeah. You counted them? No. I was playing with someone, and then I was like, I was like, you didn't even count how many there were. And he's like, he's like, once you split up the whole deck, there's only 30 cards left, so it'd be 15, 15. Yeah, but. The thing is, then it's they not divided not even. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Can't let people play you like that, Brenda. <laughs> you can not see it, it's not there. Yeah, it's beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> and I chose to believe that I would. <laughs> We are currently at Michael's and I am in search for cute paper that you can use to write letters because uh, a couple years ago, Ruby actually wrote me a couple of letters and it turned into a, t a time capsule because she wrote it at the beginning of COVID. And I don't know if I never opened these letters or what happened, but yeah, when I got back into scrapbooking, I pulled out like my box where I keep all my memories and I opened it and it was like a time capsule because it's all of the things that she went through, her favorite song, she put stickers in there and oh, stuff, cute. right? So cute. So I've been wanting to do that for her too, but I haven't done it. So we're going to get started on it, but I'm looking for like cute little paper that I can use to write the letters. So let's see if we can find some. No, so like, I guess she just sat down and she just wrote it and it was a letter and I remember her telling me that she was going to write me a letter when COVID first started because you know how we couldn't really see each other and so she wrote me these letters and I swear I had opened them but I guess I never did because it was sealed. Right? And you're just like, give them to her. Well, I actually saw this cute little thing on TikTok where they kind of like put it in this little, like an envelope thing and then they tie it with ribbon. So we're going to see, we're going to see. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, I'm going to go for these two, this cute little pink hearts and flower one, and then the yellow ribbon. Update. Oh, can you push it? Thank you. Okay, update. Michaels did not have the paper that I was looking for so now we're at Target and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna use my 20% student discount on <laughs> that's one thing I love about being a student 
getting all these discounts so if you didn't know target gives you 20 percent off one-time purchase make sure you guys don't miss out on it what happened didn't you want a new ipad i did yes but that's a separate student discount gotta be smart oh actually you know what i love the shorts from here i want some blue ones yes the black ones are my favorite these are the ones that i got this is the brand actually, like they're the best I, like I want some like those i need some blue ones i think this is the size i got 16s maybe 14s do they sell 14s even in this some like these lighter ones or the ones that you have but i really like the color one I also bought this recently and I really like it. It's an air dry cream and I put this on top of uh, my curl products and I feel like it helps kind of maintain the frizz. This is the only thing I found that so far has helped with frizz. So for this shampoo and conditioner set, you specifically need to get the one, the one. Okay, Brenda, if you ever come to the store and you get any other ones, don't get any other ones except for the one, okay? Because <laughs> they have like the extra gentle one, but these smell more chemically than this this one has a really good scent yeah, ones? yeah. So somebody just been picking one up <laughs> yeah there's like different ones see how they say like extra gentle this one is the best smelling one i've gotten compliments on this one one time at work even i walked in like straight out of taking a shower and someone was like mm, it smells so good and i kept myself humble and i was like oh i wonder what it is <laughs> <laughs> let's sit down and have a little chat just random chat i really don't have anything planned but I am folding my clothes and I'm like, let me pull out my camera and talk to my besties. Ooh, okay, actually, I know something I can share. Something recently that I have been noticing or just being so aware of is other people's inner beauty. And I try to look at people and acknowledge something good about them. It's kind of like at night when you're trying to go to bed and you're thinking about like three things that you're grateful for. It's kind of like that, but throughout the day, whenever I talk to people or I meet people, I have these thoughts and I'm trying to fill my mind with good thoughts. And those thoughts recently have been to acknowledge other people's beauty or their traits that make them so unique and things that I admire about them. And I'm also trying to be the type of person that compliments people and not just let these thoughts sit inside my head but say them out loud to these people. When someone gives me a compliment, it makes me feel good. And I don't wanna just think these good things about people. I wanna share them out loud so that they also feel good about themselves. So our challenge this week, let's do a little challenge besties. Whenever you think something good about someone, say it out loud to them. If you love something about someone, tell them. Let's let other people know how much they shine, how much they radiate, how much they add to your life in ways that they're not even aware of.